Hello adventurers, my name is Chris and today we're going to be looking at how do we create the tokens to look a little bit more quote unquote professional. I was looking at the bestiaries that have released for uh, Pathfinder 2e and their tokens uh, uh, for Foundry are something amazing. However, I was looking to do this specifically from Foundry, 100%, not touching any other tools. However, I wasn't successful. You do need a little bit of an outside uh, source. But prior to getting into anything, uh, let's get right to the beginning. We're going to be trying to uh, creating a similar aspect of this uh, adult bla black dragon to any of the other tokens I have already created. Um, this is from um, the PDF to Foundry tool that creates token automatically. However, I, as you can see, the artwork is a little bit more complex than we what we actually show. And I'm trying to address that uh, by the end of this video. First things first, let me show exactly what we're going to be working with. Okay. First module is going to be tokenizer. And Ironically, that's going to be the only tool we are going to be needing. Another good one is the Bestiaries token, uh, sorry, the Bestiaries pack only for the token artwork. I simply selected that mainly since I do like my token consistency. But let's get back into the world. I'm using uh, phone. Um, I'm using Pathfinder, however, this should work with basically everything. So, we have the Agent of the Grey Queen. Let's open it here. Okay, so the overall token art looks a little bit like this. Okay, let's delete the default. And I'm going to be using the frame that is provided by the bestiary. However, if you click here, multiple to um, token images have already been provided by the module itself. So you do not technically need any other one. If you want something a little bit more professional, anything would work. Okay, so I do have the artwork. And under regular circumstances, I will simply select the token and simply copy this under most scenario th this will suffice it does show the overall artwork but i'm not overall happy with it as if you look at the dragon some elements are hidden some are not and this was made fully in photoshop so or any specific art tool but i want to do this in Foundry by itself, basically have some elements hidden by the layers, some not so much. Okay, I'm gonna set it as this, just a little bit outside the frame. Okay, next we need to import the token in a photo editing tool. In my case, this is gonna be it. Okay, sorry about that. And Let's find the middle spot. I believe it's around here. Actually, let, let me retry it. Usually go. There you go. Right now, I have only half of the token selected. And what I'm interested in is specifically the lower part. And now I'm simply going to export as a PNG or whatever. And save it in the same uh, spot. Uh, any spot within the foundry modules or your data file so you can so you are able to easily locate it. I already done so, so oh I'm gonna simply swap back to here you can use GIMP or any other tools that do uh, that you are familiar with. I'm not sure if uh, Paint works, but I'm not putting it past that because it does. It can save as PNG. I'm not sure how well it goes with um, transparency layers, how, as well as GIMP, Krita, so far and so forth. Anything that can edit uh, photos in any way should work. Okay, 
I'm simply gonna delete this one because I really don't like the, uh, the white background as the base theory does provide a specific background as well. Let's set that to the back and there you go. Let's remove the transparency and I'm simply gonna add the frame, the 50% token frame. However, if it's matted, it does not work. As you can see, it is a little bit hidden like that. It creates a bit of a layer for the model. Right now, let's cl oh, close this and save. That's fine. Okay, surprisingly it did not work. Let's try again. Oh, I missed the OK button. I, that's on me. But this way you'll be able to see. So, when you click here, it's simply going to add the layer from here. Let's remove the background. We're going to be adding a frame. This is going to be the regular standard round frame. We're going to be sending it to the back. We don't need the alpha layer. Let's adjust this a bit. Zoom it up and just make sure that it sticks up a little bit. Okay, second frame is going to be the background. And once again, we don't need the alpha. Step two. And the last thing we want basically to cover everything on the lower part. Add three. Once again, make sure you don't have that. And simply hit OK. I did miss. Okay. As you can see, now it does look closer to the overall dragon. It does have some consistency. Let's try that again with a different token with the same prospect. Uh, I'm simply going to be deleting everything and create a copy. Delete this as well. Select the token, which we're interested in in about this fits perfectly okay we're gonna be adding the background so we see exactly how it looks oopsie and lastly we're gonna be adding the whole frame you can add as many frames quarters so far and so forth just make sure you unmask them and actually let's try to make him a little bit bigger and outside of frame. This has been done 90% solely through founder. That being said, I do hope you enjoyed and I want to see what you can come up with uh, in reference to the tokens. Have a great day adventurers and happy hunting.